Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Through. So this is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from... I'm not sure if their name is Naomi or Naomi, but either way, um... Uh, they wanted the Zanny using the missile launcher in the colors of the doll from uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. So, uh, that's what we've got. I am, uh, running... I am running... Here's a dolly. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to pronounce anything today, apparently. But anyway, um, the Zanny is a 200 uh, cost uh, support, and I'm running it at 250 because two, uh, uh, 200 Qs don't come up a lot anymore. So I've been trying to get this one for a while because of that, because the, the 180 millimeter cannon is probably the Zanny's best weapon, and because it's uh, beca because this request uses something else, that made it a little bit more challenging, but. This round, as I recall, actually did go fairly well. It has a good set of weapons for its cost. There aren't a lot of 200s with, uh, especially 200 supports with a lot of sub weapons. But this has, uh, this has, and I also wanted to be able to land one of those kicks, which I'm glad I did. But yeah, uh, it has a uh, has a uh, 100 millimeter machine gun as a sub weapon. It has uh, grenades and it has head vulcans. So. It, it has, like, a full set of uh, gear that you might not see on even higher, slightly higher cost mobile suits. It's pretty good. That tank went south for the winter, so we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, work on this Zaku that's still up top, because, well, for one thing, I've got type advantage on it anyway, so. But since number three did specifically call for help, I'm going to pull a really stupid move. Tried to shoot at the tank as I dropped. I was not quite low enough. I hit the edge of the... Uh, I hit the edge of the uh, hole and knocked myself over, so that was really useful. But uh, bomb was planted. Also, I uh, just picked the wrong, uh, pick not quite the right movements to get out of, out of this uh, big hole in the ground. But I am there now, and I'm now about to waste a stupid amount of time trying to kill this person. So let's see, just waiting uh, to see where they went. And, yeah, this is just going to take us, uh, as I recall, I, I, I had two encounters like this. I think the longer one was in a round I did not save, but this one longer than it has any right being. Yeah, and we're trying, we're both looking around trying to find this pilot because that, that person wants to take D. And I, uh, yeah, I'm looking for them and finally found them. And I think, yeah, I think they managed to kill uh, the other pilot, so... And after all that, I finally walked on them. Yeah, the other one... Yeah, and I sent the all-clear in case they wanted to spawn back and get the point, but I'm going to get the point while uh, there's time. And we're doing relatively well in that it took uh, destroying our base to get to uh, break even with us, though I find this is a move, and I think I'm going to have at least one more video this week where that uh, somebody makes that move that I just find kind of foolish, which is that when your team is not is not bunching up, if you go and base bomb, you can catch up kind of with the enemy team if they have wiped uh, the, uh, your first wave. Kind of. They're ahead now for the moment, which is good for them. But yeah, most of the time, if you go and base bomb at the beginning of the uh, round, you don't really get enough out of it to justify it. You'd be much better off just sticking with an ally concentrating fire and all that and got another uh, rocket into uh, rocket into uh, kick combo unfortunately I'm not paying enough t attention to my radar and didn't notice that person coming down next to me so now I'm dead I'm not sure who that other person was and also that beacon we spent so much time trying to get is now uh, out of our hands again so yeah so you know whoever base bombed at the very beginning of the round is not the only one making what you know, are not particularly uh, effective decisions. I, I, I'm guilty of it myself too, as I often am. But uh, three and a half minutes remaining, 2100 to 3482. We can make that up. So I'm just trying to get close enough. And yeah, uh, you can fire the Vulcans while boosting, which is, you know, a, again, a skill not a lot of supports have, so especially at these costs. And my feet are almost gone, because, yeah, uh, the Zanny has very low defense, so it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of tough to uh, really do well with it. And right now, I'm just waiting for my iframes to end so I can hopefully get forward. 
called for help way too late, so I'm go going to explode again. But we have mostly caught up. Um, I think I'm about to do something that's really going to kind I think kind of turn things around for us, which is uh, I think I'm about to plant some support fire because we have F available. And we've got two people trying to bomb the enemy base, one defending the first one and one, uh, uh, and one, you know, actually planting and guarding the bomb. But the entire enemy team has decided that they are going to pay attention to that. So that is a great, uh, a great target for support fire, because if a couple people get out of their suits, they will lose them when the support fire comes in because they won't have time to get back. So yeah, we did not, I believe the base bomb does not go off, but we did get a couple of kills out of it, so it's not, not the worst thing. I think number four is going to try and plant the bomb again, and I'm going to try and, uh, you know, uh, do some damage from here. I think that person might have gotten caught in the support fire as well from as little health as they have. A little bit too far away. Yeah, number three is getting beat up here, so that is not great, but I'm and I didn't have time to get in close and save them, but I did at least, again, take out one of the other pilots. So there's, or one of the other mobile suits. There's two pilots on the ground, so there's not a lot of point in planting the bomb at the moment. Well, number four didn't get found and killed anyway, so. Uh, the best, again, the best thing I can do right now is just make some kills. So if I can get, you know, if I can get enough kills, or if we can all get enough kills here, we don't need the base. But, okay, someone's planting support fire. Now I'm just trying to hold them here while, uh, because, you know, any two things can kill the Zanny, basically. There's not a lot of things that any two things can't kill if they're uh, coordinated well enough. But yeah, we managed to keep things in the corner. I think they might have lost a couple more people to support fire. And we, uh, you know, I, I managed to hold them there while I blew up, so it's something. Um, while a couple people were focusing on trying to uh, take the base. Somebody else ran around and took every single point on the map, which, you know, does get us points and also limits the directions the uh, enemy team can come from. I sent out more support fire, but I think third time, you know, by the third time, that's not going to work anymore. Just that they've got to be expecting it by now and paying attention to it as well. But we have through a lot of... Okay, I was about to say we have gotten the lead after all this, but we lost it again for a moment, but we've got 28 seconds left to get it back, and I have moderately long-range missile capabilities, so that gun tank is one of my biggest problems, actually, because, you know, as a support, the bulk of the team uh, has type disadvantage to me, but that gun tank doesn't, and it can hit me from very far away and, and smash my legs, so not, not ideal. But I am way too close to the enemies here. But I don't know. We might not get this back because, like I said, it's been hard to get this. Yeah, I got killed at the last second. So we ended at 900 points down, but I managed to do some uh, decent work here and there. So I hope that's I hope that's okay. I hope uh, I hope you like what I've come up with here. I got top score at 1750 out of 6050. I didn't do top damage, but that's not surprising since two of my kills were support fire, and I don't think that counts towards your damage total. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, definitely could have been worse. We had, more of us actually beat our, uh, rivals on the other side. Six and four, you know, that counts to my two, uh, support fire kills too, but not bad all in all. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I really would like to, uh see more Gundam Thunderbolt stuff in here, but uh, at one point I was wondering if that might be a thing. There's certain Fate Grand Order spinoffs, or Fate spinoffs that aren't in Fate Grand Order because they're waiting for the uh, writers to finish their, uh, the, the you know, spinoffs that those characters are in before they do a crossover with Grand Order. I was wondering if, since uh, Thunderbolt had that long hiatus for the author's health, and is now running again, if that might not be a similar situation, they're waiting for it to be done, but uh, until they add it to some things. But then G -Gen the uh, G-Generation Eternal beta apparently had a Thunderbolt chapter, so maybe it's not after all. It, it's kind of, I don't know why it's not here yet, but I'd really like to see more of it.